what you said. Everything else changed, my dear puppy. I, I don't know. I don't know. You can't just say they. I don't know, Christina. I don't think I know enough to say that you don't have the text and you're going to understand this. If you don't know the structure of the language, if you don't know how a language is structured, you can know, you can be a walking uh, dictionary, yeah. but it's of no use if you don't know yeah. how the sentence is structured, if you don't know how to recognize where the verb goes and what tense that verb is in. in, 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 in so you no, you cannot be uh, have only vocabulary, but you need structure. You cannot have only grammar if you don't have vocabulary. But the thing is, you cannot read a book if you don't have at least basic vocabulary. Yeah, and I agree. still you cannot but read a book if you don't know grammar. But but if you want to share that, you can share that. And I quote: oh, Grammar is not necessary to understand. She says. And that's why I got I angry. know, but if you speak with the book volunteers, you are going to to know the true effect. It's true. Yeah. Because when the vol the volunteers, for instance, speak in Spanish, they speak just in present tense. Uh -huh. They just use present tense. Okay. And they understand oh, okay. and, and we understand them. Oh, and okay. no problem. And if they use tu en vez de usted o ella en vez de él, it doesn't matter because oh. you're going to understand. The idea is that I think that they are not saying that the grammar is not useful. The thing is that you can be understood by others if you speak yeah. just using one sentence another or this word first or the other. Oh, that's the thing. I, I totally agree. That's the thing yes. that she's saying. But she said by reading a book. And yes. by reading a well, book, you know what we are getting in. You need grammar. Yes. But you have to try not to give an idea. You can get the idea of a book if you just know some yes, words, but it's very difficult. It's like the color book. It depends on the book. Exactly. It depends on the book. But okay. Uh, the oh, color book no. is very no. hard to understand no. because it lacks a lot of grammar. Yeah. My my idea. My have idea. You have you read? We have to have first. I've seen the film. We oh, first have to determine oh, and. What are we talking about? Of course, according to what she says, what she is talking about, she is talking about reading. Okay? She is talking about reading. And when you have a text, and you read a text, you have to know, okay, you know a lot of words in French. Can you, if I give you a text in French, can you tell me I understood the text? Maybe not all, but the yeah. idea yes. But but no. you need to know more or less how French is structured. And aha, uh -huh, I have a verb here. Uh -huh. I, I'm I'm talking about exactly. If there's an article in English, uh, if there's an article, I, there has to be a thing somewhere. Yeah, and those are the strategies that we teachers should teach in order. But there you, you also can use other things, not only words. For instance, pictures, uh, some... Uh, uh, Collocations? Uh, no, the things that we were saying before. No, uh, the, the words that are similar to English, English uh, okay. 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 the same book, etc. No, no, I'm talking about how do I teach a student to understand the text when I am not there, okay, I'm basically I'm trying because what we're doing when we teach reading strategies, we're teaching the students how to acquire a strategy. So from now on, without the teacher's help, the student can approach a text in English and get a fairly good idea of what the text is about. Yeah. So he taught us. Gabriel, yes, Gabriel, taught us in the lesson that he gave us some year, days ago about how can we learn without knowing too much English. Uh -huh. By using those things, the mm -hmm. title, pictures, okay. uh, cognates, etc. And, and get okay. ideas. Okay. And those are the strategies. Yes, yes. 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 Without yes. knowing yes. yes. grammar. Yes. In my opinion, I mean, after you look at the picture, you look at the title, you look at the comments, etc., you have 
have to know how the language is structured. There, the future doesn't just happen. The, the third word there, I don't know what it means. Third but word? The third but word. you can see that it's negative because you have... Uh, but how do I know it's negative? Because I don't know grammar. No, I don't know grammar. You know but if you say no, you, you know but that it's negative. But it's not a no. It's not a no. It's not a no. And it says the future doesn't just happen. Okay, the future. Okay, future is the yeah. cosmic. Okay. Yeah. And there it's an article. Okay. Están hablando del futuro. Perfect. Pero just happen. No sé, just no sé happen. Pero sé que el future, está en la parte de ahí, es el sujeto. Yeah. Por lo tanto, lo que viene a continuación, que no entiendo, es el verbo. Ya. Ya sé que es un verbo. El futuro, algo. El futuro, algo. Si yo sé un poquito de grama, el futuro algo no. Uh -huh. ¿Ve? Pero tengo que tener una estructura. Algo de esto. Es decir, si yo no, sé, no supiera que el sujeto, it doesn't matter because I'm, not, I'm going to understand also that it's the future because it's a cosmic. Ya, yeah, pero el futuro qué tiempo. It doesn't matter. But si you are saying it's not your future. Para entender. El problema es la cuestión para entender. A ver, ¿qué es el problema? Of course, basic, 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 of course, of course, basic, but that's why I was upset when she said grammar is not necessary to understand. I don't think so. I disagree. I'm going to write to her. <laughs>